Hello, hello. Right, um, so I watched my um, the opening on my set booster and the set versus draft that I that I filmed, and I've noticed a pattern that set boosters seem to contain fewer rares and way more common cards compared to um, Zendikar and Strixhaven. So I wanted to run a little test for, I think it's a big enough sample, for us to test it, to see what we get and collate the data with the data that we captured with the booster box. Yeah, so just a little experiment to see if they actually uh, changed um, something in the composition of this booster packs. They also said that from Crimson Bow, you're the list was uh, 25%, so you should get one card from the list every four packs. Uh, of course, I know this is not representative, so, you know, we could have four packs, we found four cards from the list, and four cards, four packs where we don't find any card from the list, but, you know, it's interesting to check uh, what the situation is. So, yeah, now we get one, two, there's a good common, three, four commons, one, two, three, so, and then Takanuma Pan Maya okay, two rares in this one, and then the foil. So we found four, five commons, three uncommons, and two rares. I think this is something that you can get in a draft booster as well. So, yeah, uh, these are good rares. There's Borderless Takanuma, which is, which is a good card. Nihinata is a good commander. Um, yeah, so this is one. So we start with an uncommon this time, but then we go straight into common. Two, three. Four commons. Two, three uncommons so far. We, we found this mythic rare, Chishiro. It's the commander of the Gruul deck, I think. And Weaver of Harmony, this is nice. Um, so two rares again. Oh, they 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 just really wanted to put me wrong. Oh, this is interesting land. Swamp. Ooh, put it aside, this might be worth something. And then we get yeah, like yeah, token, the mech titan, and a non-common foil. So yeah, again, two rares. Okay, seems to be disproving my a pattern. Um normal land. So this is uncommon. Two, three, four, five. See, there's quite a lot of commons. Two shrines here. This is the third, fourth uncommon. Lion Sash, a reconfigured. Yeah, this is not great. Okay, one rare here. And then, yeah. And then we go with the last one. Uh, this is, um, we still haven't found a car from the list. It's one, two, three, yeah. I mean, this, this is a lot of comments, like I do remember in set boosts, especially Modern Horizons 2, like you could have set boosts with two commons in them. They, they seem, this one seems just to be like a draft booster. Second Mythic Rare, this is pretty nice. Base power and toughness, 5-5, five, five. Menace. It's an interesting card. And another Mythic Rare. It's one of the Dragon Spirits. Okay.
I don't think, like, I think we found four mythic rares? Three mythic rares? Yeah, three mythic rares. Uh, Value-wise, though, I don't think any of them is particularly uh, exciting. Um, Takenuma is quite valuable, I think. Let's see, but I think I think there is some merit to what I'm saying about the commons. Okay, the rest probably not because we found three, seven, eight, yeah, two per pack on average. Uh, not seven, no, uh, a little bit under two per pack. So we found two per pack on three and then one, a single one, which is still pretty good. So probably that one isn't the case in terms of rares, but in terms of common, I'm, I'm definitely sure there is some merit to what I'm saying. Uh, in terms of value, let's have a look at Kura. Kura is around four euros at the moment. Um, so yeah, not bad. Chishiro is worth nothing, even though it's a mythic rare, but it's, it's part of the pre-con, I think, so. Uh, yeah. And Blade of the Oni doesn't seem like a very powerful card. The yeah, the borderless one is actually worth a bit. It averages around seven euros and it's trending around five euros. Uh, yeah, this is a very good opening actually in terms of values. I still, I'm still not like a hundred percent sure that they will retain the value. Yeah, Takenuma, for example, has gone down quite a bit. Um, the normal one, this one is borderless, so it's trending around eight euros, uh, so seven euros, and it's averaging around eight euros. So that's pretty good. Uh, we definitely made the money back. Um, even if they go down by twenty percent, I still think we are we are good because we found a lot of um, uh, showcase. One, two, three showcase cards. Um, that's pretty good. And Weaver of Harmony. Yeah, it's not it's not worth much the normal card, but the yeah, this is averaging around two euros and trending one fifty. Um, yeah, not like happy with this. Happy that like it, we can. Yeah, this one is also common, although it's. This is a lot of commons. This is a lot of commons for, for four set boosters. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 22. Small, so it's 5.5 per pack on average. That's um, quite a bit. Out of uh, 13 cards, or 12 even. So yeah, um, yeah, it's twelve cards plus the R card. So yeah, that's that's a lot. It's almost half the pack. Just commons. So yeah, um, let me know if you found this um, pattern as well for your set boosters. Compare to the past, or if you thought that was always the case and this is the normal number, and um, I'm not remembering correctly. But yeah, in terms of value, very happy with this opening. Again, this is a great set. This is the second just random uh, random packs that we open and we get the value back and probably more. Testament that there are how many cards of value that are in this set. So yeah, this is probably the best set since Throne of Eldraine. And yeah, have fun drafting it. I'm gonna have another sealed event on Friday. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it, not just for the to find cards and to get the value, but to actually play the game because there are so many mechanics that are so much fun. Like channel is so much fun um, because you know when you draw a land, when you're desperate, you draw a land. You so that's the worst. But in this case, you can actually do something with it, and it's actually they're actually very powerful effects. So yeah, um, and Hinata, just build the command if you want to build a commander deck. Build the Hinata is so much fun. You can play spells, like huge spells that will cost too much normally. Um, like you can cast a huge Comet Storm. Um, there is the red, 
sorcery, nine mana, or you can choose any number of players or creatures, and then you exile the top card of your deck, and you deal damage to... You just deal damage to that uh, permanent equal to the CMC um, of, the, of the card. And then essentially the more... You can choose six targets, and you pay three red mana, and then all the cards that you exile that way, you can play them. I mean, that card is so good. And it would it doesn't see much use because it's so expensive. But with Hinata, you can pay three red mana for that. I'll uh, post in a comment the name of the card. I can't remember it right now, but I have it. So I'm just going to look, look it up. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for opening these packs with me. Um, I hope it was informative. hope it was fun. And thank you very much for watching the video. And see you guys soon.